Three strong connections between your weight loss and your gut. We have more than 100 trillion gut bacteria living within us. Now, if I took all of your gut microbiome and put it on a weighing scale, it'll be anywhere close to two to six pounds. That's the weight of your brain. What you eat and how your gut responds to it has a direct impact on your immunity, your mood, your hormones, nutrient absorption, and of course your weight. Because everything related from your hunger cues to your digestion and your serotonin secretion, which basically decides how happy you are, comes from your gut. If you have stubborn weight or resistant metabolism, or basically you feel like you're trying too hard to lose weight and you get no results at all, here are three strong connections between an imbalanced gut microbiome and your slow weight loss. Understanding all of these connections will actually help you learn how to eat and what to do to take care of your gut so you can drop the weight for good. Number one, specific gut bacteria are actually responsible for weight loss. Now your gut bacteria interact with the food you choose to eat and multiply based on what you've eaten. So if you've eaten a whole lot of, you know, wholesome foods, which are rich in vitamins and minerals and fiber, obviously you'll feed the good bacteria in your gut and then those will multiply. But if you eat in a whole lot of junk, then the bacteria that don't serve you are going to multiply. There's strong research that people who struggle with obesity or the ones who find it very hard to lose weight don't have a very diverse gut microbiome. Now, a great example to understand this connection would be fiber. Our body is unable to digest fiber on its own and it actually requires a specific bacteria to help digest it. One such fiber digesting gut bacteria is called Privotella. And Privotella shows a whole lot of weight loss properties. If you have enough Privotella, you'll speed up the rate at which you actually lose weight. You know, the best way to increase this weight loss promoting gut bacteria is to eat a whole lot of fiber rich foods, of course. But please be careful because if you have a very sensitive gut and if you don't already have enough Privotella, then you won't be able to digest the fiber efficiently. And then your gut condition can actually get worse. So a bowl of salad may not be the best option for you. But if you have a bowl of well cooked veggies, uh, you know, take your greens, put them into desi ghee, add a little bit of ginger and garlic, that will definitely do the trick. Secondly, your gut decides when you're hungry and when you're full. Now, once you've had a full meal, the gut secretes a hormone called peptide YY from the neuroendocrine cells of your small intestines, always in proportion to the amount of food you've eaten. PYY signals the brain that the stomach is full. It slows down the movement of food in the gut, so you understand that you can stop eating. In the same way, there's a hormone called ghrelin, which we're all familiar with. Now, this is released in the gut in a fasted state when you haven't eaten for a long time. Its production will actually reduce after you've had your meal, say breakfast or lunch. Only when you have healthy gut microbiome, your vagus nerve, which is one of the biggest connections between your gut and your brain, would be able to send these signals efficiently to the brain, helping you understand your appetite better. It's the first step towards building a healthier relationship with food and mindful eating. And this is one of the reasons, in my opinion, intuitive eating can go really wrong if your gut microbiome is not in a good place. But here's the thing. If your gut is healthy, then you won't need to go on calorie restricted diets or calorie counted diets because you will always be in touch with your appetite and your hunger cues. Number three, and according to me, this is the most interesting one. It can actually alter your weight loss genes. Now, when the gene called NLRP12 works properly, it expresses its protein in abundance, which has a beautiful anti-inflammatory effect. Now, this anti-inflammatory anti effect on the gut promotes the growth of good bacteria called lactospirase. That produces small molecules like butyrate and propionate, which in turn protect against not just weight loss, but also stuff like insulin resistance. So what's important is that this gene NLRP12 is expressed properly so we get the benefits of weight loss. Now the expression of this gene can actually be down-regulated because of the pro-inflammatory cells circulating in the body. And the best way to reduce inflammation is obviously to eat a whole lot of anti-inflammatory foods in your diet. So if you think you've tried every rule in the book to lose weight, but you still don't get the results, then it might be connected to your gut microbiome. You know, we have some of our clients who actually drop three to four kgs in just two weeks of doing a 15 day gut cleanse program. It helps them heal faster. It improves their gut bacteria in the system and also helps them with symptoms like stubborn weight, imbalanced hunger hormones, you know, stuff like anxiety and mood swings also start to improve. Now we have our next batch starting very soon. You can actually take the quiz and see if you're eligible for the cleanse.